Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Palmetto State. How about that, huh? That's South Carolina, by the way. We are down here in the steamy, steamy south. It is a little warm. We're in the middle of summer. And uh, just finished up some business here at the post office. So let's see if we can get down the steps there. Can't figure that part out. Uh, we just got into town yesterday. We had a little bit of fun last night. So uh, little thunderstorms rolled through. And we found some mud holes. So we got to get the truck cleaned off there. But other than that, we have a lot to do. Check this place out first. We got to figure out where we are and what we're doing. Uh, we're not real sure. We're here on the homestead and we are going to be cotton farmers, I believe. Uh, let's talk about how that happened, huh? So my stepfather is a contractor in Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. That is factual. He really is. Uh, if you've stayed in a hotel t taller than three stories down there, you probably stayed in one of his buildings. So anyways, he like the idea of us farming so much he uh, we make it look like so much fun that he wanted to get involved in it so he bought a um old cotton farm it used to be part of his family somehow some way way back when uh, he used to go to family reunions there i'm not real sure of the story there but uh i, I kind of tuned it out after a couple minutes you know um but yeah we he bought this place at auction um it had been some kind of corporation was harvesting cotton out of there and they used to own a whole lot of land most of it was sold off it's really just the farm and four pretty good sized fields around there so um not quite the operation it used to be but may, maybe we can fix that so anyways um my stepfather doesn't know anything about farming and more or less wanted it just for the prestige i believe so um i did see an opportunity here to make a new partner for Jockey Inc. So maybe this farm can benefit us in some way in the future. And as a matter of fact, wow, sorry about that, bud. You, you okay? That will hit you and giddy up after that. That's understandable. Wow, you just took a sedan to the hip. All right, anyways. <laughs> yeah, so maybe this can benefit us in some way. It used to be a beef farm as well as a cotton farm. So uh, there are no animals on the premises now and haven't been for a little bit, so maybe we can fix that. And yeah, I think that's, uh, let's go take a ride around first. Uh, we'll go in the back way. There's something I wanted to see down here. Um, I think, I guess I said four fields. I guess supposedly it's five fields. One of them is over here, and there's also a home over here that we own, or not we, uh, he owns as part of the deal. And he's going to fix the home up now. That is more in his territory there. Like I said, he is a contractor. Uh, he can do some building things. So, uh, where are we going? Oh, wow. We're getting a little muddy. Well, ew, hold on to her there. We'll kick her that way. This looks about like a carrot field, doesn't it? Uh, what did I just say? Carrot, carrot. That's a carrot field. Not exactly my favorite vegetable. That's definitely a carrot field. All right. We own this too. Uh, about 11 acres of carrots right here. That does uh, seem to be the root crop in South Carolina. I did not know that, but that is the predominant root crop here. So, hey, fits right in, right? Fits right in. Ooh, let's see. What else? Oh, the home. There was a home. Yeah, that's it. The greenhouse right over there. <laughs> greenhouse. It's not that kind of greenhouse. Just painted green. Man, this mud is a little slick. I kind of like it. The dynamic mud is a lot of fun. So as you can tell by the truck, I've been having a good time in it. Now, like I say, we enjoyed ourselves last night and a little bit this morning. So, yeah, here we go. Now, this field, or this home, comes with a couple acres right across the road here. All right, I don't think anybody's here. I don't think anybody lives here. So nice wheels on there. Um, yeah, so this is what I wanted to see. There's a couple acres here. I'm not sure how far down it goes. Maybe, maybe about this far. And back up to the house over there. So not a ton of grass, but you know us. We will cut anything that grows. So uh, yeah, we're going to cut this grass right here. I like it. Maybe something we could get done this afternoon. There sounds like a thunderstorm above my head. 
know if you guys can hear that or not. My son is jumping on the bed, it sounds like. Um, oh, yeah, we got to turn around. All right, we're going to go to the farm now. Yeah, let's go take a look around, see what we got. And pass people, you know, make good friends with them. So anyways, like I said, we got here yesterday, driving around a little bit. Got to meet some guys. Uh, I think we're going to have a good time here. We're going to stay here for a little bit, see if we can get this farm turned around. And I think it should be, I mean, it should be fairly straightforward. Like I say, this is a, was a functioning cotton farm turned over to the bank. Uh, the bank had some a crew come in to kind of keep it operational so they could make themselves a little bit of money. And I think that kind of fell through, which is how the auction ended up happening. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty good deal here. A lot of equipment around, too. So, yeah, maybe we can end up buying these fields back. I don't know how many of these the farm used to own, but uh, like I say, it was thousands of acres around here. And now it's been reduced to about 100 or so, I think it is. Uh, 30, 30, about 110 acres or so is what we own there. So that's what we will be responsible for taking care of. Perhaps we can expand that, but off in the distance, the silos over there, that's our setup. And uh, man, I look forward to using those things, huh? Pretty cool looking, pretty cool looking farm yard here. So, man, it's been a while. I forgot how to do this whole thing. It has been, what, like a month? I think I looked at since my last video. Wow, sorry about that, but not because I was having too much fun or anything like that, that's for sure. That's uh, just what we gotta do sometimes, so. Whoa, whoa, baby. It's getting a little deep, man. It must have rained harder than I thought last night. Say we are in the middle of summer. That is our cornfield right there. And this would be a grass field in between that cotton field over there. So that will be our big crop this year. They got a pretty good rotation going. And like I say, this is this is something new for us. We showed up in an established farm. We don't have to build anything up. We don't have to go to the store and buy anything. Well, I don't think uh, we may end up having to purchase some things. I don't sh I'm not sure what they have and what they have probably isn't our style. They don't know how Jockey Inc. does it yes, just yet. But yeah, it's an established farm. We don't have to do anything. We just go to work, right? That's crazy. Crazy. Never done that before. We always start with nothing or, you know, start with $4 million worth of equipment at the shop we have to go get and bring home, but this is it. This is our home for a little while. I guess, hey, it is impressive. It really is. If you've ever driven through the western part of South Carolina, this map has a pretty good feel for it. Uh, this is a Funny Farm Gaming map, by the way. I didn't say that. Uh... Our buddy Chris over at Funny Farm Gaming has turned out a masterpiece here. And you can go to his Facebook page and download it. That's what I did. And you get all this. Quite a deal. Quite a deal. All right. So we got equipment there. We got equipment there. I don't even know where to start. Start at that, I suppose. Do we leave the truck running? Yeah, we don't need that. All right. I think we've all seen a house like this. This one's kind of in a little state of disrepair here. Uh, we will let stepdad worry about that. But the other crew, like I say, there was some kind of falling out and looks like they just kind of left, so. We got a surfboard out of it anyways. If we go to the beach, we're just a few hours from the beach. We'll take a ride over there and maybe we can figure out how to surf. But well, not too bad. Yeah, a little grass needs mowing. Got some weeds here we gotta take care of. Yeah, just hasn't really been lived in. We can fix that. Start here. This is one of my favorite rides on the farm. Check this bad boy out. So this is a farm use truck. Got a plow mount on the front and yeah. <laughs> Good old Toyota. I love it. Love it. Bulletproof truck right there. A little 22 R four cylinder. You cannot beat that motor. All right, anyways. That's all that's in there, huh? Pretty big garage just for that. I guess we can put our truck in there, too. So we'll be staying here. Uh, the other house is going to be renovated in the near future, and maybe we will switch uh, when he starts working on this one. We can go stay in the greenhouse over there, which conveniently was just right down this road, wasn't it? I mean, we take that dirt road all the way over, 
out of sight just over there and to your right and there's the house so that was pretty good that wasn't as bad as a drive as i thought it was going to be let's see what we got here this is the age of discovery i like it Are they both can open yeah okay got a trailer we got one of those in georgetown so we know how to operate that bad boy look at that oh heavy chevy everybody needs one of those with a flatbed on it i'm pretty sure they just come like if you buy a farm this just comes with it like it's just there it's like required equipment i'm pretty sure uh big old plow cultivator oh <laughs> excuse me i didn't know what that was at first it's like uh I thought it was a, a stump grinder. No, that's the, the topper for the carrots. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, I don't think we need anything out of there. We'll close that bag up. So that's one barn. I think this is, yeah, this is the money barn right here. This is where all the cool stuff is. That's not true, but oh, I think so anyways. Here we go. We got one, two... Two four-wheel drives, two two-wheel drives. That's a pretty good deal. 4440, my personal favorite. This is the one I grew up watching go up and down the road. Uh, every time I imagined being in a tractor as a young man, that was what I was driving right there. That's cool. I love these row crop duels on that two-wheel drive. Perfect. Uh, this used to be a S South Carolina Department of Transportation tractor, so it has a ton of miles on it, a ton of hours on it, I should say. I don't have the HUD on. We can't see that. We'll have to check the hours out later, but it's got a lot of hours. Well, as you can see, they all do. But they've been here for a while, so they've been working. That one's still got the sprayer on the back of it. Uh, there's our cotton trailer. Yeah, we're doing good here. Doing good. Uh, like I say, I did get to meet two of the guys that are going to be... They have been working here, and they're going to continue to help me out. And I think they will probably end up taking this place over in the future if they want to. Uh, Hunter and Gunner. Uh, two strapping young men who are more than willing to help them out, help us out, and uh, pretty good operators to boots, from what I hear. So we got that going for us. Ah, the truck garage, I like it. Oh, nine thousand. This is another one that just comes on the farm, I believe. This is the old heavy Chevy. Uh, you just open the door, and there they are. One day, somebody dropped it off over the night. Uh, an old R model Mac. That's one of the first uh, Macs I remember right there. Remember my dad coming to pick me up in one of those. It was Hunter Green, had red hubs on it. Love it. Still my favorite truck. Uh, it looks like fertilizer and herbicide. Uh, so old Toyota forklift. Was this thing in a fire or something? I think maybe it's spent its life outside. Maybe we get a little coat of paint on that bad boy. Is it okay? I don't know. Well, let's throw it across the room. That's not going to make it okay. Yeah, well, you know, it works. All right. So, and I, as you can see, like I say, we don't have to do anything. This farm is ready to go. All we have to do is show up to work. That's, that's cool. So we got lime. We got fertilizer. Uh, corn seed. Maize, if you will. So we got, what, four pallets of maize. We have... Oh, I know what those are. They can't put those on the bags. Those are hemp seeds. Uh, we do have a hemp field over there. And four pallets of cotton seed. Two more of those special seeds. Well, that should take care of our rotation there. There's no carrots, but yeah, we'll figure that out. It's carrots somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, Wilson trailer. Man, doing good. Doing really good. Now this would be the one we can make money with right here. So I'm told that all these racks right here were full of cotton bales, round cotton bales at one point. Can you imagine? That's quite a payday right there. Maybe we can get back to that day. Maybe we'll see a day when we can have enough cotton to fill those racks up. But if you're going to do that, you're going to need some big equipment. We got some big equipment. Look at that. Well, we all know how much that bad boy cost. Uh, that one's got just under 150 hours on it. Starting to show its age a little bit, a little bit of wear on there, but that's all right. Um, an older forage harvester. Not sure what year that bad boy is. Uh, probably mid-80s, New Holland. Not a very big hitter. It's going to take us a while to do our cornfields with that, but that's okay. 
and of course the 8820. I really love this thing. It's just a little short, squatty, boxy. It's like a little bulldog, you know, just flexing. I love it. All right, we got one of these bad boys, 8370 on tracks. Uh, just over 400 horsepower. Should be enough to do whatever we need, including pulling the DB60. Uh, big old planter. There's a header for the 8820. And here is our carrot harvester. I'm anxious to see this thing in action. We have never, never done carrots. So, teach ourselves something here before we head back to New York. Quite a machine. Anyways, all right, here we go. Yeah, so that's it. That's well, that's most of our equipment, anyways. That's the big majority of it. The good stuff. I don't think there's anything in here. Nope, that's just our hay loft. Two big old bunkers. I hope we can fill those up with chaff and get us some silage goring. This will be our cattle pen right here. And like I say, hopefully we can get into the beef business. Uh, not going to do any dairy here. We have a dairy operation already. We don't need anything to do with that. We know how much fun that is. There's a nice looking forage wagon there. Doesn't have any branding on it. Anyways. Uh, oh, man. Do they not have a pressure washer here? Just everything is dirty, huh? It would drive me nuts. It's like one of those DJ Goham operations where they don't spray anything off. They're allergic to it or something. Uh, that one doesn't. I think that one's brand new. Never used that one. Oh, yeah, we got this too. This is fully fermented. Ready to go. We'll have to uncover this. We can either sell it or. You know, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Is that where the. I wonder how far away I can put that water trigger and still get that to work. I wonder if I can put the valve all the way out here so that I could hit the water without going in there. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But, yeah, cows. We got silage. Um, don't own that field. That's not our field right there. Used to be. Maybe one day again. This is our field. This is our hemp field? Yeah. Got to be a hemp field, doesn't it? And we also have this big field. It used to be an alfalfa and clover field. They finally turned it over this year. Went ahead and sprayed some lime on it and uh, plowed it in. So they're going to replant clover and alfalfa, according to Hunter and Gunner. That is their plan, and we're going to let them continue on with that plan. We don't have any reason why not. So, um, yeah. We got, like I say, main, four main fields right here at the farm. Uh, two of them are corn, one hemp, one cotton. So, a lot of cash crops around here. We are going to cash in on this thing one way or the other. Speaking of cash crops, that's what I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon doing. Is clearing out the silos. We have some wheat. We have a couple hundred bushels of wheat, a couple hundred bushels of oats, uh, so forth, you know. So, yeah, I'm going to take that. Let's go make some money. I've been talking long enough. My goodness. First day back, I said I didn't know how to do this and can't shut up. All right. I'll be right back. All right. We got the old R model fired up. Had to do a little battery charging, but that's all right. That's just one of the deals of these old bulldogs. And I was talking to Hunter, and he said that we should take these greens down to Kennedy Sales. And he give us some directions to get there. Now, I'm sure we can get lost before then. But he did make it sound pretty easy. So, we'll see what we can do. We're going to take a ride. I have never been down there. Uh, the part of the map that I just showed you is the part of the map that I've been on. So, um, this is a pretty big map. This is a 4X map. And, like I say, it has captured uh, the southern, eastern, southeastern United States pretty well, I believe. So... Looking forward to it. Let's close the cover there. Why not? Just in case. What a ride, huh? Look at that. We'll figure out how to drive it sooner or later. We promise. Alright, so we gotta go to the main road. Um, 
like I say, these fields on either side of us used to belong to the farm. They do not. But perhaps again someday. That's a big one right there. My goodness. Is that all one field? That's impressive. Maybe we don't want that one. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll buy the one that's not quite so hard work, right? Easy money. That's how we do it. All right. So take a left, he says. Drive all the way to the end. Take another left. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. All right. Yeah, you look like you're going to be in our way. So we just have to do what we do. So the cruise, maybe. Yes, cruise set. Yeah, all right. Start grabbing gears. All right. Now, let's look around here. What we got up there? Some kind of thing in it. Oh, got a sign right here that'll tell us right as we go back. Carolina Cotton Company. Perfect. We definitely needed to know where that's at because that is where our contract with the cotton is through. So we will be selling right there. There's also uh, a wool spot there too, I believe. Should we ever decide to invest in sheep, we'll also be selling there. We'll just keep, man, look at the size of some of these fields, huh? The ones up near us, um, the ones that we are responsible for, I think two of them are about 14 or 15, and the other two are pretty close to 30. Uh, I think 28 and 30, respectively, or something like that. So uh, that's why we have two fields of corn. They equal out to about 30, 30 acres each. So, all right. Pretty good deal, right? So let's see, this has got to be our left coming up. That would be, uh, I can't remember what he told us to look out for in front of us, but yeah, that's the place, I'm sure. <laughs> I feel certain anyways. So and he said it would be on our left, which is probably that it over there. Yeah, look at that hillside going back there. And going back to what, what they call the mountains in South Carolina. Um, here in Virginia, we would we would call that a loose interpretation of a mountain, but it would be the highest point down there for, for many, many miles, so we'll let them slide with it. But, uh, yeah, you can see this the, the foothills back there is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. We're going to assume nothing is coming because we're pretty important, and I'm sure people stop for us. I'm certain of it. So that is a sell point right there. Oh, the Carolina Hemp Company. Hey, we'll be seeing them too. Yeah, that's what he told us it was. He said to pay attention to that because we will be back there. All right, check this out. I got a big old cow. Bull. Something. Something up there. It's a big old bull, isn't he? Lamont Stockyard. I believe this is what I'm looking for. Get that little Prius out of the way. All right, so we brought sunflower and soybeans. Okay, I couldn't remember what we had there. Uh, just about 300 bushels each. All right, livestock. That looks like a hay cell point. Maybe I was mistaken. Ooh. Good thing we brought the hopper bottom, isn't it? Is this where we're going? Soybeans. It looks like it wants some soybeans. Yeah. Perfect. $24,000 there. Uh oh. I think we high. Oh, I missed the ramp. <laughs> That would be a driver error. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's get a little better aligned there. No wonder they want to go anywhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, now how do we switch boxes? Just like that. Look at that. I remembered some buttons. Yay. Yay, buttons. 
All right, so we have made but uh, close to thirty-four thousand dollars right there. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a good time cleaning these silos out. So, yeah. All right then. I'm gonna go do that. I will make some more trips to some sail points around here somewhere. I just thought we would take a little drive around. And, uh, yeah, there's not a lot of farm work to be done right now. Um, we will see about getting the equipment needed to do some cows. We're gonna need, you know, the basics. Something to mix TMR with, uh, something to water them with. Oh, no, wait. We got that water thing built in there. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe we don't need very much at all. Something to mix TMR with, huh? Yeah. All right, anyways. Let's go make some money. Let's see what we come up with. I'll be right back. All right. Well, we have made almost $50,000 this afternoon in just a few short hours. So I would say this little experiment for our stepfather is going to pay off pretty good. If we can keep up this kind of pace. We will be making some money around here. So I want to go do something else. Imagine that. I want to go cut grass, right? Who knew? Check this out. So I said this uh, New Holland came from the Department of Transportation, was their uh, ditch bowing mower, and it has 11,570 hours on it, just hit over 570, and they say this is the mower it was pulling for most of those, so ended up getting both of them there. Pretty cool, but we're going to go use it, right? Pretty cool. I love these old bat wings. Uh, I love these pulled quite a few of them. Uh, in Minnesota, they call them ditch mowers. From what I can gather, but uh, I think that's because in Minnesota there's there's only ditches and fields. That's all there is. Pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, if it's not a field mower, it's got to be a ditch mower just by default, right? There's no other thing it could be. Anyways, yeah, we like to give those guys a hard time. You ought to hear what they say about Virginians, though. Whoa. Anyway, anyway, whoa, 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 I love this bud. It, like I say, it rained quite a bit yesterday, last night, so. Everything around here is nice and muddy. Perfect. Including this tractor, we gotta get this thing cleaned off. Uh, old thing can't breathe up there, got the, got the screens all full. That's no good. Especially down here in South Carolina, it is hot down here, buddy, my goodness. We left the heat up in New York, but we found the humidity down here. Ooh, that's a whole different level of hot. Whole different thing. But that's all right. So let me run out to the end here. We're going to go to that little couple acres that I had uh, stopped at originally. And we're going to see if we can mark out the edges of that and get a cut. Um, we do have a haybine, too. I found a haybine in, the, in a barn back there, but I don't really need it to be... That's not what we're going for the first cut. We want to make sure we can get some rough stuff out of there first. We're going to go ahead and cut it with this thing. If there's usable product when we're done, then wonderful. If not, then uh, at least it'll be, you know, regrowing in the in the manner we want it to. So that's the plan. That is it. I think that'll probably do it after we go do a little bit of cutting just to see this thing in operation. I got too excited not to use it. In the old Ford here. I love it. It's, I wonder if I can close that back glass. Letting all my cold air out of here. Uh, that's the door. Open the door. Can do that. Alright, we're gonna crash. <laughs> I gotta leave that window alone. We'll figure that out later. So yeah, this is, this is home for a while, huh? What do you think? I think it's awesome. I look forward to it. Big, huge fields around here. I want to buy some of them and just fill them plumb full of cotton. We've never really been cotton farmers. We did huge cotton field on Ravenport, but um, I was in Jockey Inc.'s heyday back there. We were just getting started, and we were looking to make a whole lot of money, so um, wasn't a, a long-term solution. This is, like I say, this is an established cotton farm, and we're just here to put a little sweat equity into it. See, that's our that's our carrot field. That's Grumpy's Greens. I'm trying to learn my way around here. Um, and town is right down to the left there. So that's where we started. That's where the post office was. 
Awesome. Uh, our contract with the carrots, I believe, is through Publix. Uh, grocery store chain down here, maybe? Pretty sure. I said it with a question mark, right? Um, question mark? Yeah, some kind of store. Some kind of store that buys carrots, so... Uh, yeah. Watch that little car coming through. It's a little rough stretch of road right there. That's pretty neat. All right, so there's the house. We could cut everything on this side, too. Uh, I want to make my stepdad do a little work. We can't make it too easy on him, so we'll just try to handle this couple acres across the road here for him. Man, uh, it's an overgrown looking yard, isn't it? We might need to get the brush hog in there for him. Yeah, we'll let him freak out about it first. Let's see. All right, I appear to be right at the line here, so if we go forward just a little. Drop it down. Yeah, look at that. We seem to own this land. All right, maybe on the next pass, I'll see if I can get a little bit wider. Make sure we cut all the way to the edge. All available grass is ours. Yeah, the old bat wing's going pretty good. Pretty good cut. I think articulate going down there. That's cool, isn't it? That is pretty slick. All right, so we'll go down until we get a warning here. Do not have access. So I assume we'll be coming up any second now. Oh, goose the throttle there. Really? This is a bigger field than I thought. Or is it just going to let us go? Where am I? Must be out of bounds. Uh, I think we're about even there. Yeah, so we're not, not to the end yet. We got to go down past the biogas, so. Yeah, a little bigger than I thought over here. Get these uh, bushes cleared out of here. Get this turned into some good field grass. And we'll have a good time with this field. We can get some bales off of this thing. Speaking of bales, uh, I was talking about cows. If we do cows, we're going to have to figure out a way to get straw because we don't have any straw. What on earth kind of line is that? I think I just fell asleep for a little bit there. <laughs> That's terrible. All right, so that appears to be our line right there. Let me sneak back up the side here real quick. Tighten that whole scenario up up through there. My goodness, man. Missed a whole pass. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, there's a bunch of forestry on here, too. Um, I did find a big... Uh, so you can go down that road to our left right there. Go all the way to the end. Take a left. Man. Wait. That's not true. Go all the way up. Go all the way north. Yeah, that, up past down there. And go out to the left. Yeah, that's where the trees are. All right, so since we're already back here, let's see if we can make another pass to widen this thing out here. Mm, we sure can. Maybe I should try to hit another one, huh? See what happens. But anyways, yeah, that's uh. I think we're about done here. We have, uh, for once, we have not an overwhelming amount of work to do. Like I say, I'm excited about this project. I think it's going to be really cool. Might benefit us in the long run. And if nothing else, we'll learn how to be cotton farmers. So uh, we got a couple good teachers, it looks like. That must have been the edge. That must have been the hard edge. All right. So anyways, yeah, like I said, we got a couple good teachers. Uh, if nothing else, we will learn how to be cotton farmers and we'll get to spend a little time in some warm, uh, tr more tropical climates than what we had been in for a while. So I will carry on doing this little couple acre field here, possibly jump across the road there, but I'm not sold on that idea just yet. 
but yeah man i appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me if you're still here after all this time nah, you're you're my hero you really are i appreciate you sticking with me uh, there's so many other things on youtube you can watch i do appreciate you hitting that button right there so uh yeah thanks for coming and hanging out with me i am golf cart jockey and i want you to have a good day <laughs>